What's up everybody, Chris here with the Riding Dad channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chris. I have a 2020 Lowrider S that I am in the process of doing a club style build on. I do a lot of uh, how-to videos, build series for the bike, and I pepper it in with some uh, reviews and some other random stuff too. So if you think that's something you enjoy, I highly encourage you to check out my other videos and please subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot and I'm trying to get on a at least weekly posting schedule. So there's plenty of videos for you guys to continue to watch even if you watched all my other ones. So, and if you're coming back, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the uh, the returns and the, all of you, so. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 riding down a YouTube channel. Alrighty guys, so today, Pretty simple. Uh, most of your Harleys will come with this little taillight bezel uh, in a chrome. This was a chrome as well. Uh, obviously you saw in the thumbnail. And now it's black to go with the blacked out paint scheme that I have. Uh, so there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, I know Custom Dynamic sells one, Moons MC sells one. Uh, they sell a black replacement plastic bezel that is just black um, plastic. It's just straight black. That's how you get it. The problem with that is Inside, there's a little circuit board where you connect everything, and those bezels, the replacement bezels, come with new circuit boards. So you're spending a decent amount of money replacing something that you already have, and you have no need to have a second one. So, uh, alternatively, instead of spending uh, around 40 bucks, what you can do is get a wrap of black to match your bike if you got an all blacked bike, all blacked out bike, or any other color you want, matte, uh, gloss, whatever you want to do. Um, for this application, I used Vivid. Wrapping uh, is extremely easy to work with. Uh, probably someone with a higher skill could have used a different technique and done it all in a fluid look, uh, but I overlapped it, like a little overlay on the very bottom, which one, you're never going to be able to see, and two, even if you do see it, especially being all black and in a shadowy spot, it is such a small area, uh, you would almost never see it even if you were looking directly at it, you probably wouldn't even catch it. But like I said, it's on the very bottom. Nobody's ever going to see it unless they're upside down looking at the bottom of the bike, inspecting it to see if it was painted or not. Other than that, it looks very good. Um, like I said, uh, I will show you uh, down below. I put, put the links for all of the stuff, but uh, I'll also put the link. I got this on Amazon. There's a couple different ones that you can go with. Uh, specifically, I got the Vivid. I think it's called like the X-Pro or whatever, but um, I got a lot of it for like just over 10 bucks. Uh, so if you have other stuff, like some guys do the VIN blackout, uh, stuff like that, if you have other little bits and pieces, especially if you have a different color that you want to do accents, like if you have a custom paint job or something like that, um, or just a different color bike that's not chrome or black, you could do all different colors with that. It's very easy, and when you get that big roll, you can even get bigger, but... Uh, Super simple guys, uh, wrapping, uh, I'll show you a clip, uh, now I'll put it up as I'm talking, just to give you an example of how easy uh, the actual material is. You can crinkle the hell out of it, so where it has all these lines and everything, and then you just heat it up with a heat gun, and it basically fixes itself, like it heals itself, which is really cool. Um, you can also, uh, it applies, it's got like these uh, little air pockets in them, channels, so if you have like a little bubble, you can just press it out and it'll find its way out instead of, you know, like a, if you apply old school uh, phone screen protectors before they did the tempered glass, where if you had like one bubble, you'd basically be screwed for the whole rest of the thing. It's not like that, which is really cool. Um, and then these, uh, you can put them on and then they don't um, like final stick unless you, uh, until you heat them up and then press them after you heat them on it. So if you're gonna fix the material, or they're in, it's incredibly stretchy. So if you're gonna stretch it, or just fix it, you know, if you got some marks or bubbles, reapply whatever, just make sure it's off of whatever you're doing, and then heat it up after that um, while it's not touching anything, because if you heat it up while it's on there, you'll ruin some of that sticky property and make it even harder for, uh, for you to get off also. So other than that, I am by no means a professional rapper. I wrapped a lot of other stuff on this bike, so I had a decent amount of practice time with it in white when I thought I was gonna go with the white and black uh, paint scheme with wrapping and stuff. Still ultimately wanna do white and black, but it's gonna be through like a geom geometric um, paint design. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. So for now, I'm just doing all black everything until a couple years goes by and then I do that custom paint job. 
So uh, I had a little bit of practice on it, but like I said, I am by no means a professional rapper. So uh, like I said, if you are a professional rapper and you have any other, any other tips for this, by all means, please go ahead in the comment section, let me know um, so other people can see it too that are watching this video. And other than that, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you uh, how I personally did it. So the first thing I did, and probably most important thing, is I cleaned off the bezel with alcohol. Uh, it's important to clean off whatever surface you're going to wrap. Uh, one, to have a really clean surface with no oils or anything on it, and two, just to get any kind of like small particles off of it that might be there, especially if it's an exterior part that gets a lot of road debris and uh, grime and dust and everything on it. And the next thing I did was take out the wrap I got and measure and cut the piece that I needed for the bezel. So depending on what color and what brand you get, it might have a protective cover on the exterior of it. It's important to take that off before you start heating it up and moving it around and stuff. Uh, almost all of them do not have a flexible exterior protective coating. So after you take off that, you'll obviously take off the bottom, which is the backing of the sticker, and then you'll lay the bezel in the center and work the rest of the material around the outer edges. Like I said in the beginning, I did uh, overlap them very slight in the center on the bottom of it. So I'm gonna make sure I cut a decently straight line on one end of it. And then now I'm just trimming up the rest of it, the front and back of it, giving myself about right around an inch, maybe a little bit less on the front and back of the bezel. That way I have enough to tuck it in. And fortunately for this kind of thing, the tuck doesn't really have to be amazing. It just has to be strong enough to hold on. And at least the part that is visible on the little edges that has to be smooth because you can see that when the tail light is attached. Once everything is all trimmed up, gonna try to tuck all of the edges on the inside and the outside of the bezel. And then after that, we'll heat everything up as it is, make sure that I have all the wrinkles out of it, all the bubbles out, and press down while it's heated. That way I can really make sure that the wrap adheres to the surface very well.
now that the wrap is all done it's time to put it back on the bike and this bezel is super easy to take off it just has one screw and you'll need to feed the wires for in my case the turn signal in your case it might just be the braking light but whatever you got you'll feed them through there and then using that one screw it kind of fits in with like a groove like a, a latch almost and you'll just rock it into place and then put that one screw on it After that's all intact, I went ahead and reinstalled my Moon's MC taillight with integrated turn signals on it. And if you're curious to see uh, either how I installed it or what it looks like and everything, I do have a video on that. So if you do want to see anything more about the taillight, I will post a card up here right about now that links that video, but it's also in my Lowrider build series playlist. So it was that simple. It's really easy. Uh, like you saw in the beginning, it you know you would probably never be able to tell it was a wrap and not paint unless you got really close and you saw it didn't have that deep you know almost dimensional gloss to it that like a uh, two-step paint process has. But other than that, I mean, 10, 15 bucks you can black this out, black other parts out, do a custom color, especially um, super super easy, guys. So. Let me know what you think. Again, please subscribe to the channel, post notifications, make sure they're turned on. Like this video, please, if you did enjoy it or if you got something out of value for it. If you are going to do this to your bike or you did it and you want to let me know how I did, please let me know. I enjoy interacting with you guys. YouTube is a, a beautiful family of people and we can all get together and discuss our cool bike stuff together. So until next time, guys, have fun, ride safe, dad out.